Hi friends! The web is full of all sorts of information. If your kids have access to your Mac, some of this information may be inappropriate for them. Let's go ahead and see how you can child-proof the web on your Mac to protect your kids from viewing inappropriate content. Click on the Apple logo. Click on System Preferences. Click on Parental Controls. Below the Login option, click on the Lock icon to make changes. Enter the current user password and then click on the Unlock button. Click on the plus symbol to add a new user account. Select the new account type, enter your full name, account name, password, verify the password, enter the password hint, and then click on the Create Account button. Now the new account that we named as John is created. On the Apps tab, select the checkbox next to Limit Applications. Click the drop-down menu next to Allow App Store Apps and then select the option you want. Go to the Web tab. Select the radio button next to Try to limit access to adult websites automatically to enable this option. For an increased level of control, you can also block or allow access to websites on a case-by-case -case basis. To do this, click the Customize button below the Try to limit access setting. Here you can allow access to sites you want by clicking the Add button and then entering the site URL you want. You can add as many sites as you want here. To block access to sites, click the Add button on this section and then enter the site URL you want here. Once you're satisfied with your customized list, click on the OK button to save the changes. Select the radio button next to Allow access to only these websites. The whitelisted sites are automatically added to Safari's favorites bar for convenient access. To add more websites, click on the plus sign and then click on the Add Bookmark button. Enter the website title and the address and then click on the OK button. Go to the People's tab. Make sure to select the checkboxes next to the Allow Joining Game Center Multiplayer Games and Allow Adding Game Center Friends options. Both mail and messages include options to limit communications to allowed contacts. These can be enabled by checking the respective checkboxes. If you want to allow specific contact, then click on the plus sign next to this section. Enter the first name, last name, and the email address. Click on the plus sign to add more email and then enter the email you want. Once done, click on the Add button. Go to the Time Limit section. Here you can customize the weekday time limits, weekend time limits, and bedtime time limits for school nights and the weekend. Once done, click the Unlock key to lock the changes and then close the Parental Controls window. See? That wasn't hard at all. Thanks for watching.